There is a movement across America taking the hope of the gospel to children where they are, reaching one of the most fruitful mission fields, the public school. The After School Good News Club program is a voluntary Bible class where children receive sound Bible teaching in a fun-filled atmosphere. These clubs are sponsored by Child Evangelism Fellowship. CEF is an international ministry committed to the task of reaching children with the gospel of Jesus Christ and establishing them in a local church. Last year the program came to our school as an opportunity for the kids which was open to anybody willing to choose to participate. We did not solicit people but we had a great, great showing. This year my children came to me and said, Mom, can we join the club? And I said, well, sure. So they've joined and they've gone to three meetings. They come home excited. They remember what they've learned. They verbalize it, talk about it. It has been a wonderful experience for them. Many of the students who are participating in the uh, Good News Club are now becoming leaders among their peers and uh, they're helping to forge a new climate and a new culture on the campus that's very positive and very rewarding. I've seen the change in several students as a result of the Good News Club. On June 11, 2001, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that Good News Clubs can meet in public schools after school on the same terms as other community groups. What happened when the Supreme Court decided that case is it didn't necessarily create brand new law, but it clarified existing law and it made crystal clear the issue with regards to Christian after-school clubs having access to public school and other public facilities. And that is this, that Christian clubs, such as the Good News Club, have a constitutional right protected by the First Amendment to have equal access and equal treatment to public schools, to other public facilities, to meet on the same equal basis as other secular organizations or secular groups. Good News Clubs are a tremendous opportunity. I like to analogize a Good News Club to a high-powered Sunday school program. And it really is the opportunity to take Sunday school to the public schools. I think the Good News Club provides a great opportunity for us to carry out the Great Commission. When you really care about the children in your community, it is just a natural way to have an inroad with that parent. Folks are so appreciative that uh, someone's interested in their kids. I guess what impressed me and what made things easier for me logistically was that Child Evangelism Fellowship provided the training. And then we like the curriculum extremely well. It's evangelistically based. The gospel is always presented within the Bible stories. So I feel like it just really dovetails into the heart and philosophy of our whole church. My, what a joy it is to just be a part of an exciting program of evangelism, of reaching out. And it's my firm conviction as a preacher, as a pastor, that if we do not reach children at this age, it's very likely that we'll not reach them at all. And I thank God for the privilege of being a part of Good News Bible Clubs. I think we are in a spiritual battle. Just like in any physical battle, when you take new ground, you can't take it for granted. You've got to continue to defend it, otherwise the enemy will take it from you. And through the Supreme Court ruling, new ground has been opened. We need now to take the opportunity, because if we sit back and we relax, the opportunity and the ground that we have now gained will ultimately be lost. We've got to look back at our generation and say, this was an opportunity. We took advantage of it by God's grace. We became the soldiers of Christ and walked into that battlefield. And we continued to share the gospel.